Hey everyone, I'm Ember, and today I'll be talking through everything that's worth knowing about fish and fishing in Valheim. There are many reasons to try fishing in Valheim if you haven't already. The most obvious is that, in this watery purgatory, fish are very easy to find. They don't hurt you unlike some other potential prey, and they often appear in much larger groups than other spawns in the game. Importantly, they are a key ingredient to one of the best late game recipes. Following recent updates, there are now currently three types of fish in the game. Perch, Pike, and Tuna. These types work just like the star ratings in other spawns, like deer and boar. Catching the smallest type of fish, Perch, gives you one raw fish, while the larger Pike gives you two raw fish. The largest fish, Tuna, gives you four raw fish when you catch it. Not only are these fish easily distinguishable from each other by their appearance and size, You'll also find that the larger fish tend to swim a lot faster and spawn in deeper waters. Fish can be found in streams, rivers, lakes, along the coast and out in open ocean. Biome-wise, it doesn't seem to make a difference to spawn rates whether you fish from meadows, plains or the black forest. However, in the swamps, you'll just find leeches. Small rivers are usually restricted for just perch, so if you want the bigger catches, you'll have to head to a larger body of water. You'll find all three varieties of fish along the coast, so that's a pretty good place to start. Tuna, the biggest fish, can also be caught in the open ocean, but from my playtesting, these occurrences are few and far between. Unlike other prey in the game, fish can't be attacked using any of your weapons. If you're lucky, you might come across a fish that has become stuck or stranded on land, particularly after a big storm. With these fish, you can just pick them up by pressing E. Otherwise, the best way to catch fish in Valheim is with the fishing rod and bait. You can buy both from the elusive merchant Haldor, if you can find him first. I won't get into how to find him here, but once you're close to him, you'll see a little bag on your map. Haldor will sell you the fishing rod for 350 coins, and 50 bait for 10 coins. The fishing rod doesn't wear out or break, so you'll only need one, but it's worth using your spare change on some extra bait to save another trip. Once you've got your fishing rod, head to some water where you can see a few fish. The fish spawns you see in the water are what you'll actually be catching, so if you can't see any fish, try a different area for the time being. Equip your fishing rod and bait from the inventory, making sure that you have enough inventory space for the caught fish. Face the water and left click to cast your line. The longer you hold the left mouse button, the further out your line will go. Fish nearby will be attracted by the bait and investigate. As soon as you see a splash coming from the bait, hit the right mouse button. If you are successful, a hooked message will appear on the screen. Continue to hold the right mouse button to reel in the catch. When the fish is close enough, you can click E to pick it off the hook, but if you just keep reeling it in, it will be picked up automatically. Be aware that reeling in a fish costs stamina, and the larger the fish type, the more stamina it will cost per second to reel in. If you run out of stamina before you've reeled in a catch, the fish will escape and you will lose your bait. You don't need to go crazy on stamina points to fish, but just try to eat some relatively stamina rich foods beforehand, such as honey or cloudberries. Once you've caught some fish, you're ready to get cooking, unless you just want to reward your good doggos. Raw fish takes 25 seconds to cook, on both the basic cooking station and the iron cooking station. Once cooked, the fish gives you 45 health points, 15 stamina, and heals at 2 HP per tick. This is pretty good early on, but becomes outperformed in the mid-game by recipes such as sausages. Once you've defeated the fourth boss, Moda, and explored some of the plains by him, you'll be able to produce barley flour and turn your cooked fish into fish wraps at the cauldron. Fish wraps provide 70 health points, 23 stamina, and heal you at 4 HP per tick. Compared to all the other recipes in the game, fish wraps rank third in health point score losing out to lox meat pie and serpent stew. However, if you consider that these two recipes are significantly more dangerous and more effort to make in large quantities, fish wraps are a winning choice every day. Hopefully future updates will expand fishing in Valheim, adding more species, recipes and fishing spots. Perhaps a hint to future development lies in the as yet unimplemented spawn command, Fish 4 Cave. Presumably this will have something to do with the new frost caves, and the rare, empty lakes that can be found within. We'll have to wait and see what Iron Gate has in store, 
but I'll be sure to do an update to this video if and when. So I think that just about covers everything. I hope you enjoyed the video, please give it a like if you found it helpful, and subscribe if you'd like to see more Valheim content. Have a great day.